Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I will be talking about about my diagnosis with my back pain, joint pain and everything. I think it's been almost two months since I saw the physio who said I need to be referred to a specialist and I had my appointment at the hospital with the rheumatologist. Hello everybody. We are the 8th place family. Welcome to our YouTube channel. He said he checked my body, my joints, where it was hurting. And then he said I have fibromyalgia and I also have re rheumatoid arthritis. He said he doesn't know which one is causing which he said he doesn't know if it's the f uh, arthritis who's causing the fibromyalgia or the fibromyalgia is causing the arthritis. I didn't understand very well to be honest, but I had a steroid injection today. I'm with lots of pain because every time the doctors move, my body is very, very painful. So I was struggling to come back home. It was a long appointment. My appointment was booked for 1 p.m. They called me, I think it was half past 1 p.m. and I just finished 3 p.m. because they did some blood tests and he pres prescribed me a medication, a new medication for me to start on. I will see him again in six weeks. We will see if this medication it will help a little bit or not. He said I need to do the blood every month to check if the medicines are working, how is the inflammatory levels and everything. So I will repeat the blood test every month. I need to do a chest x-ray as well. I need to do a, an x-ray on my lower back. Because he also said probably my back problem is nothing to do with fibromyalgia or with the arthritis, rheumatoid, it's something else, but he didn't say what. Probably he want to be sure. And that's all. At least finally I have a diagnosis for what's happening with me because it's been a struggle and the last month. Maybe get start getting worse I think six seven months ago I suffer with back pain for more than 10 years honestly I start with joint pain two years ago but the doctor said oh GP said oh it's just 10 years ago it will go away in two three months he never went away it just keep getting worse 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 during my pregnancy I complain all the time to the midwife they said oh it's just because now is the pregnancy or your ligaments tend to get a little bit loose and it's not your first pregnancy blah 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 so i just tried to live with the pain but then the baby came i started with really bad night sweat again i told the nurse what was happening with me i was thinking that it could be the early menopause and she said, hey, it can be because it's early, but it's not impossible. If it bothers you, just go and see, talk with the GP. But to be honest, I just leave, let it happen because I wasn't very keen to go and speak with the GP again. And it's so hard to get an appointment in my yeah. with my GP. I said, okay, if it's menopause, nothing will stop it. If it's not, we will see. After four months, the night sweats just get better. Now I'm having them two, three times a month. Probably the, it's not that bad. So I'm going to start this treatment tomorrow. Today I had injection. I'm with so much pain. I don't know how I'm going to do to give a bath to the little one. Carlos already showered. 
the other three because they have a shower sooner they come from school but i still having oliver carlos is scared to give him a bath but today i think it will be carlos because i'm i'm in so much pain i'm just sitting here on the sofa I was trying to hold little man, but it was very painful for me, so I just on his chair. It's a bouncy chair, so I just need to bounce sometimes. It's electric, but I'm feeling so tired that I'm not on the mood to turn the chair around and just plug it. So I'm just going to leave him there. And when Carlos comes back, maybe I will have... I'm going to try to sleep a little bit because I'm very very tired like I said finally I know what I have because I was feeling very very tired I'm tired all the time I'm in pain every single day it's very difficult for me to cut like to peel an apple to peel an, a carrot it's hard to cut pizza it's very painful my hands get very painful and sometimes they swollen a lot i'm dropping things a lot now i'm breaking plates and glasses all the time i think i never broke so many things in my life so it's not been easy i don't know how it will be the future hopefully this medicine will work and i will get better but at the moment, this is being difficult. Even I have the diagnosis, but I know that it will take time for things to improve. I think the medicines can take four to six weeks to work. So I have a long way to go yet. Luckily, I still on maternity leave. I, I made the decision to stay one year with Oliver. Hopefully I will be able to go back to my job. We will see. I have another appointment in six weeks. I don't know if I'm going to do the x-rays in between or I'm going to do the x-rays just in next appointment at six weeks. I just know that today I did the blood test. I need to start the medicine and then after one month, I need to repeat the blood test. I don't know for how long I need to do blood tests every single month. Is everything new for me? So let's see. But I'm going to just be hopeful that the medicine will work. I really want to have my life back. I want to go able, be able to go out for a walk because I stopped going out. I think for one month now I start going for small walks with Carlos around the park but my hips my joint it was so painful I quit so basically I'm just spend my days inside the house between my bedroom and the sofa I try to stay on the floor sitting on the floor with the baby because he's nine months, he's getting more active and I really need to be able to look after him properly, play with him and everything. So hopefully in six weeks I will be better. If you know someone who has the same problem than me, please comment down below. Because like I said, this is everything new for me. I don't know a lot about these conditions i'm going to google it but <laughs> google is when we go to check something on the google is always scary so i prefer if someone have uh, the same condition or know someone who has the same condition to try to tell me what i can do to improve how it will be the future we will see Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.